Six Human Needs. This is a famous model by Anthony Robbins where he looks at your needs in relation to how you behave. The fundamental principle behind this is that your needs drive your behavior. And when I'm looking at these needs, I'm looking at your needs in relation to your leadership style. Welcome to the seventh video in this 10 part video series to helping you assess your business post lockdown. In this particular video, I'm going to be looking at your leadership style. If you're not familiar with this model, let me just share the basics with you. The principles, like I said, is that every human being is driven by a force and that force determines how they will behave. So regardless of your background, your profession, your religious, each day this need drives your behavior and that behavior then signals how you're going to act and how people respond to you. The six needs are, number one is certainty. And this is your need to get stability around you, to have a sense of control. When you have a need of certainty and suddenly you don't have control, then that's when your state is in turmoil because your need for control overrules everything else. Number two need is the opposite, the need for uncertainty or variety. And people who have a need for variety tend to be okay to change. You know, they'll change their mind, they'll adapt their style, they'll adapt their physical activity, they'll have mood swings, they'll be prone to different types of entertainment and socialization. So they constantly are changing their minds. Need number three is significance. And these are individuals who need to feel, feel special in some way, and they seek out significance in various forms, either through uh, feedback from people or getting rewards and recognition in a formal way. And if a person has a need for significance and they don't get rewarded in this way, then they will feel uh, lost or they'll feel uh, unloved. Need number four is love and connection. Every human being needs to feel connected to each other and have a sense of uh, relationships. The point of lockdown showed us how important connections are to us as a society. And so connections can take any form of love or merely an intense engagement. So you feel connected just by having a conversation or by being with someone. Need number five is the need for growth. Everything is about growth. It's about something dying and then something taking its place. So you could have a need of growth and as a result, everything that you do needs to be about improvement of some sort from where you were three or six months ago. And finally, there's a need of contribution and that's the need to give, to serve, to uh, share your expertise or just donate in some way or the other and contribution could take the form of what you do at work in terms of just giving free advice or what you do in a formal capacity in a non-profit -organ non organization. Right now those are the six human needs. Before I move on I'd like you to write down the answer to this question. Of these six human needs of certainty uncertainty or variety, significance, love and connection, growth and contribution, which two have you been valuing the most? So what I want you to do is to take those six needs, rank them from one to six, and what I'm more interested in is the top two. Pause this video, do that exercise, and then I'll chat to you with you afterwards. Now, if you have significance and certainty as your top two needs, in a time of uncertainty, this is going to completely make you crazy because your need is certainty, but everything around you is uncertain. Your second need is significance and the need to be made to feel important. 
and get reward and recognition in some way and everything else around you is falling apart where everything is about connecting with individuals. So that's as an example of how having certainty and significance might not help you in a period post lockdown or in a period of uncertainty. So question number two is, what are the consequences of valuing those two needs in that particular order? Again, pause this video and answer that question. Great. Now I want you to consider what are the top two needs that need to change that will transform your leadership style. There's no right or wrong answer for this. You just need to figure out what's going to be natural for you and also what's going to help you in a time of uncertainty. Let me give you some examples. So if you combine the two needs of growth and love and connection, that's a very expansive leadership style. If you combine the needs of uncertainty and contribution, that's a disruptive mindset. If you combine the need of love and connection and uncertainty, that's a collaborator type leadership. And finally, if you combine the need of growth and contribution, that's like a development or almost like a recreation of your business structure type style. So what I want you to do here is to consider the top two needs that you need to instill in your life in order to transform your leadership style. Pause this video and answer that question before I give you the last exercise. Okay. Now, finally, the last question. If you had to adopt this new top two needs in that order to change and transform your leadership style, the final question is, if you made that change, how would it transform your life? Have as many answers to that question as possible. And, and really all this video is trying to do is to make you realize that your need is driving your behavior and your behavior is, is creating your leadership style. So if you're gonna change your leadership style to align to a period of uncertainty, you need to go back and relook at your needs. This is the seventh video in this 10 part video series. I'll see you on the next video when I talk to you about looking after your staff during a time of uncertainty. I'll see you then.